and welcome back to Late Night with the Video Team. My name is Adam Gomes, and tonight we have a very special episode because we're starting off with the public relations teams. These two people that are gonna be showcased very soon are crucial and have been the standing point for the PR teams uh, this Emerge season. So please welcome uh, Tani and Juliana. Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> Awesome. Welcome both of you and we're glad to have you despite being immensely busy with everything going on. So obviously public relations has been very stressful, been very hectic, obviously. So we uh, want to start off with something very subtle and very easy to answer. So just tell me about yourselves as people as well as what you guys do for PR. Well, I'm Juliana. Um, I am the fourth year media studies student in public relations. I am one of the two executive directors for our program. Um, I love food. I have a big um, food background. I'm a huge foodie. So on my spare time, I enjoy doing that and exploring the city. Um, so yeah, it's me. And I am Tani. I am the other executive director for the PR stream. I am also a fourth year student just trying to get by and graduate next month. Um, I am a big music lover so while she's into food I'm just all about music in my spare time so always listening to it finding new music on YouTube. Um, so yeah the past few months we've been leading the PR team yeah. trying to figure out logistics behind the scenes and like overall planning for the conference. Yeah, we got some two pretty, pretty big high ups here. So it's been, it's been. I'm a little nervous. Just saying, <laughs> just, a, just a tad nervous. We got some pretty, uh, pretty uh, businesswoman here. One, yeah, I think that's correctly said. But uh, m moving past that is that PR has kind of obviously stressed you out with making sure Emerge goes smoothly as possible, ensuring that you guys create the best event possible. With obviously one day being in person, the other day being uh, virtually. Uh, kind of tell me how the planning's been. How has hectic has it been with uh, the planning of Emerge? Um, I think it's been pretty difficult because we are trying to establish uh, some kind of ground and middle ground to make sure that our virtual day is just as fun as our in-person day. Um, we started off the semester not even really knowing that we would have uh, one day in person. So that was really good to hear that we had that opportunity to plan that. Um, I just think that we're trying to pivot and make sure that a lot of the students are getting what we want them to get from our Emerge conference. Yeah, and just adding on to what Juliana is saying, in PR, it's all about communications. And that is one factor that we've been stressing a lot about because getting information from like five of our team leads and then from professors and then other team leads from other streams has been a bit difficult, some back and forth. So like Juliana and I both work um, full-time internships on top of our roles as executive directors. So trying to organize how to communicate with people can be tough at times, but thankfully we're in the final stretch. So almost there. Yeah, one more week to go. Yeah, truly, you guys have been, well, when you guys see this, we're, you know, it'll be a couple days before the actual showing. So we'll, we'll, we'll see it like that. And you guys have been, I'm, a, I'm a massively just, uh, I'm gonna say big fan, but obviously in awe of both of you and your capabilities of being able to be on top of everyone, ensuring that everyone within not only PR, but within the other streams are going, going right, going well. And you guys are, are, are crazy amazing. So thank you to both of you for that, for, for leading a good Emerge. And you have been stressing out hopefully too much. I know you guys have been stressing, but nothing too much. And you have some time for yourselves at least. Me? So I guess I could, uh, huh? I was gonna say, give some props to yourself because you know, you're leading the video team. Yes. Obviously we rely on you and your team for a lot of the content. So yeah, so I, I, guess, I guess we could segue that to shout out to everyone obviously behind the cameras in the studio as well as just filming in general. So thank you for them. And I guess I'll lead that into how has, cause you, you mentioned obviously with earlier being, um, you guys weren't even sure at first of uh, having an in-person day. So how was kind of COVID treating um, your kind of wariness of, uh, of planning for Emerge? Like how has the transition been? Um, we've really been, um, it's, it's, the transition's been difficult because 
a lot of the time it was really up in the air. We couldn't really confirm any decor, how many people were allowed to even be inside the building, food. So everything was really put in place within the last month. Um, but like I said, having it in person will definitely bring across the energy that we want to bring for our Emerge conference. Um, it hasn't been easy, but it's been fun for sure. Yeah, with Emerge, like last year we didn't have a conference because of COVID. So from day one of planning process from back in September, we planned it for to, planned it to be a two day in person event. But as Juliana said, just with restrictions and like constant cases going up and down, like we made that decision early on to have one day in person, one day online. So thankfully that making that decision early on helped us a lot. Otherwise, like we would be scrambling to like get things together if we were to decide like last minute to make both days in person or both days virtual. Yeah, intense. Honestly, that's still many like, I mean, all of you both for your planning capabilities. And I guess kind of obviously saying how kind of COVID has been for our transition to where we're at now, it will leads me into the, uh, the whole idea of and planning of just how crazy our four years here at school have been, but just how crazy our last four years in general have been. And so I just kind of want you guys to explain both in your personal lives, knowing you, Tani, for almost all four of the years and, and Julian, I think maybe two, three of them, um, is just how has these past four, three, four years been with half of it being uh, pre-COVID, the other half being in COVID? Well, I think that we were lucky enough to be able to start our years uh, being in person. Um, and being able to build the connections with the people and have lasting friendships so that when we do end up getting into our third year that it is online and um, we're not necessarily able to connect in person with people that we have our go-to groups. Um, so that was great. Um, it's not easy transitioning to online. Um, I think that a large portion of what we're missing is like socialization and necessarily like building further connections so that that can then translate into our careers after we're done graduating. Um, but I'm happy to be back. We've only been back for a semester, um, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So we'll take it. I think personally for me, I don't think the whole online experience was like bad. I actually quite enjoyed it. And it, especially it kind of like gave a lead way into what the future will be by having like online conferences or online meetings or people to work from home or work from work from different places that doesn't that you don't have to necessarily be in person for um so like this really relates to our theme of the conference the media reset so like during our four years here like first year was in person part of second year was in person then we transitioned to online their year online completely as you guys know and now we're back in person so kind of like really shows like what the future holds in terms of the media world and how we're not limited to just a physical space. Yeah, no, truly. I think if, if anything, you two have shown that example that the boundaries kind of have become unlocked because of, because of COVID and how planning and how creating these events can really truly and operate with such with great, uh, with great capabilities. So truly, thank you for guys obviously planning that you guys I think have saved everyone's butt with uh, with stress and, and and worry, so so truly thank you for that. And I think kind of going forward with just everything as a whole is just personally knowing both of you is just that it's been it's been intense uh, with with constant communication back and forth. So I guess what is your kind of heart and pride and joy of of emerge in general, whether it be a specific project that you guys have worked on, a specific uh, event that you guys have done. Um, within it, what, what is your proudest moment so far that you've achieved? Um, I think I'm gonna be really excited to see um, the TikTok session come all together. Um, I think that it's, an, it's a large platform that has not only gained popularity throughout the pandemic, but I think that um, it will continue to gain popularity as we move forward. And not only with branding yourself, but branding companies and organizations. Um, and I think that we have some pretty exciting guest speakers coming and um, what they're going to talk to our guests about um, will definitely allow them to grow not only for themselves, but within any career that they're looking to have within the future. In terms of my proudest moment for this whole event planning process, 
I don't think I've had my proudest moment because I truly believe my proudest moment will be when the conference happens itself. So that's, you know, a week away or a few days when this gets broadcasted. Um, but I would say to date, proudest moment would just be just seeing everyone in person and seeing how we event plan or like do things in person rather than online. Because a lot of things get more done in person. Like every time I'm on campus, I start running around to different floors to, to talk to people. As you know, I've yes, yeah, come no, to find truly. you before. Yeah, no, honestly, you guys are all, I, every time I see you, you're in a completely different location, a completely different, uh, talking with a completely different set of people. And like, honestly, how you guys keep it all track is amazes me, obviously. Just amazing. So I, I'm amazed. I, I can't say that enough. And I think, um, thank you to both of you for, for both attending out of your busy days. Uh, so truly, truly, truly from the bottom, I think of everyone here as students and working on Emerge, thank you guys for your hard work and thank you for everything you've done. And I hope that you guys back uh, watching here are excited for this event that is coming up. And I hope that you guys are either attending the virtual or the in-person event. And I hope that you guys enjoy it and see it. And truly, truly from the bottom, I think of all of our hearts, I hope you enjoy it. So please, I hope you guys have a great evening and I hope you guys enjoy.